It's May the 9th, 2022. Hi, everyone. I'm Dana Durnford. I'm also known as the Nuclear Proctologist.org. And you can call in at any time at 709-589-4406. 709-589-4406. Welcome, everyone. Of course, it always takes us a few moments to get the big shoe up and running. We have a poll tonight. Should Britain's population stage a revolution? Due to Boris Johnson's administration lifting the Fukushima radioactive food ban, and the correct answer, of course, is they got nothing to lose. In fact, it's do or die time for the former Great Britain. It was never great, actually, it was a dictatorship. But uh, why would you lift food from a nuclear wasteland? Kind of sadistic and twisted concept is that to lift food from a nuclear wasteland? Boris, the town idiot, munches, munches. Think about the telegraph, absolute contempt for people to frame something so serious as munches and popcorn. It's bewildering, to say the least. It's murder, actually, what they're doing there. And Boris has a long history of this, obviously. This was several years ago, before he became so-called um, the puppet in charge, also known as a prime minister, Swigs, uh, Swigs. Journalism has left this planet a long time ago. A can of peach juice from Fukushima. And this was meant, for some reason, to instill confidence. Using Boris Johnson to instill confidence in any agenda. So... They'll show you this. This was uh, university students from Tokyo that were tricked and manipulated and deceived into going into the Fukushima nuclear meltdown to plant rice because nobody else would go. But this is what actually looks like there. Uh, 30 million tons of contaminated soil are stocked in open air sites. This was several years ago. It's actually around 60 million one ton bags which was picked up in about 3% of the land, mostly farmland. It just defies any kind of rationale. And they're so insane, the industry is so kooky, so vicious, so hateful, they're actually harvesting food right alongside of one-ton bags, thousands of one-ton bags of radiation. And that's not a one-off by the chance. One of those pictures should horrify you and terrify you that people actually exist. The industry is so insane it actually does stuff like this. That's the definition of insanity. What, what does it take for the world to make a stand, I wonder? There was 150,000 sites like this. This, this is one ton bags of radiation. Uh, ghost towns are abandoned, but they've kept growing food in the nuclear wasteland and shipping it worldwide. So, I'm going to go through um, go through this documentation for you. So, hope hopefully, you get your thumbs out of your mouths and your butts and start making a stand. This is not rocket science. This is really easy to learn. You don't have to have an education of any degree to understand that this is wrong, what's going on. This is actually evil, that you're poisoning everybody indiscriminately all the time. 
to and then you talk about you have to talk about bioaccumulation and that children and women women are hundreds of times uh, more vulnerable than um, adults and males in particular and females are are incredibly disproportionately harmed by radiation. This is well known to the industry. This is well known to the food administrations. So before Fukushima, 100 becquerels a kilogram is nuclear waste. After they, they just raised the limits when they had a nuclear accident, and this was just a group of people poisoning the entire planet for a stupid paycheck. And then why would the food administration turn their back on you? Did you hire, did you create the food administrations in your country to turn their backs on you? So corporations and industry can make a few bucks by poisoning you? You got any concept of how much danger you're in and how much harm you're in and how important this subject actually is? The limits before that were 0.1 becquerel a kilogram, but that's not because you have 54 nuclear reactors there. Each time you see these pictures, it's the most, fr you've never seen that in your country. You've never seen this in any other country. You've never heard to tell it this anywhere else in the entire planet because it's, it's actually insane. It's the definition of insane. To even have people in that environment, and the proof of it is dangerous, is everywhere you see those tarps in the background, they're covering one ton bags. So, um, radiation health specialists, radiation and health specialists, not some stupid food administration moron, but radiation health specialists. Children with 11 becquels a kilogram of cesium start to see heart problems. So I'm just going to build you a picture, then we're going to go through the current stories. We'll build you more pictures. You are in real trouble on this planet. And right now, Britain is treading deep in deep water, and there is no one there to lend a hand. So we're going to do the best we can to educate the population. When you see this picture, that should terrify you. That's the definition of terrorism. There is no dirty bombs equal to a nuclear meltdown. Now, nuclear waste being processed during an explosion in September in France, with 17 becquels a kilogram was being packaged to store in a repository and Japan was shaking it at 100 becquels a kilogram for just gamma. They weren't checking for alpha or neutrons or betas. They were only allegedly checking for cesium. Every facet of the story defies why we survived as a human species this long. Because we ain't going to survive much more longer. And as you actually get educated on this, you can see the difference uh, in diseases and illnesses, and autoimmune deficiencies, injuries, that have manifested in the last 11 years has exploded on this planet because of the radioactive fallout and the fact that this industry has successfully shipped food into all kinds of countries with zero moral high grounds, with zero rights to do something like this. It's actually murder on a, on a completely different scale of any criminal organization throughout history. You should, you should order food in. For, you can order food in here from here on the internet and bring, cook, go down and open um, hot dog stands and stuff like that in front of the Food Administration and put on Fukushima food only and watch the panic in these people. Like they should all get a one-way ticket to here. Every organism in the Fukushima prefecture, the prefecture, one of the biggest, the third biggest prefecture in the entire country, every organism 
is contaminated with radiation. And just the worms in particular is 1.4 million becquels a kilogram of their excrement, 60 kilometers from the meltdown. Which means that you, you can't even breathe the air there, let alone eat food from there. I'm actually in shock uh, that Britain has done, like Canada and other countries have lifted the restrictions. But where, where, where do you draw a line is the question. You better start asking yourself because you have only got a little time now to draw a line. And what happens is they, they ship this in constantly. You're, you're eating it constantly. You're already doing it to an extent, but now they're not even going to check nothing. Not that they probably did before, but now is your opportunity to rally the country, to take back your country. At least take back your supermarkets. Japan must be the only place in the world with several million becquels of radioactive isotopes. The only place in the world, except for the supermarkets coming to Britain. And it's true, about 70% of Japan is polluted with radioactive material from uh, Fukushima. Tokyo is contaminated with highly toxic radiation. High, any amount of radiation is highly toxic, by the way. And experts worry about a catastrophic impact on the health. But the experts in the United Kingdom have officially now betrayed you, have officially condemned you, have officially abandoned you. Is that what you call a government? Are you really going to sit there and let them do that? Are you really just going to sit there like slaves when all you have to do is stand tall before the evil? Uh, this is a map of Japan. You can see up there, the co uh, covered in radioactive fallout. I'll show you other models after. You can't go anywhere in Fukushima surrounding prefectures without thousands of one-ton bags. And so by proxy, then you can't grow food there and feed it to people. It's unconscionable. And by letting them do it, they become emboldened and they become uh, more vicious and more hateful and more genocidal. You have to draw a line in the sand and you've got to draw that line immediately. It's it's fight for your life, fight for your loved one's life, fight for your children's right not to be poisoned in every single meal, or lie down and die, because they're going to murder you. Japan's prime minister, the study setting up an alternative capital away from Tokyo. There was writers who originally broke the story. There's many reports on it after that went on for many weeks after. This was not just a single headline. Not that that mitigates it. Each of those pictures of one-ton bags should... is a warning to you. Is This is not... this is not acceptable. And this What's happening is very dangerous. There is no way, there's not, not a single meal of this is going to be safe. And every person is going to be continuously consuming it daily. I'm begging you to fight for your future, your loved one's future, your children's future. And to fight like you've never fought before. Pull like you're pulling the prime minister off your six-year-old daughter. Japan unveils plan to develop massive government backup city 300 miles west of Tokyo with room for 200 imbeciles and maybe built at Atami Airport. Fukushima will start burning radioactive dirty bombs at 100,000 becquels a kilogram to be incinerated with over 1 billion pounds of radioactive debris in the exclusion zone. This is dirty bombs, burning it all day long. And because you didn't stand up, you didn't pay attention, you didn't 
You didn't demand these topics. You didn't make a noise about it. Now they're just going to import the food from the nuclear wasteland directly into your country. Everybody in the United Kingdom should hang their head in shame today. Debris from nuclear, from near the nuclear plant is being ground up and burned in other parts of Japan. Not stored. Not in a deep geological repository that they haven't even got for anywhere on the planet because it's, the industry is evil. Every facet of it. Everybody on the planet should buy a baseball bat for when the day finally comes that you got no choice. Is the government trying to contaminate every region of Japan by burning the radioactive debris? If everybody's contaminated in a relative sense, nobody is. I mean, this kind of logic is bizarreness. Is the government trying to contaminate every region of Japan? Is British government trying to poison every citizen in the United Kingdom? Yes, unequivocally. Incinerating radioactive material can contaminate the environment. Fukushima plant will burn radioactive waste the incinerators to run around the clock. I'm showing you this to show you that you have dropped the ball. This was your responsibility, not mine. It's time for you to make a stand. It's not hard to learn this stuff. It's not too late to, to try to stop it. There's nothing more important than not being poisoned every time you go to the supermarket or open your refrigerator. Can you agree with that? Will you give me that? How can you sit in silence? How does that actually work? Oh, well, it'll be okay. The government will take care of me. Well, it didn't. In fact, now, because you didn't hold them accountable, you didn't hold their feet to the fire, now they hate your guts. Now they're just going to poison you at your supermarkets, at your restaurants, at your food venues, in your schools. When, when are you going to grow up? When are you going to gut up? When are you going to make a stand? Why are you sitting and cowardly, sitting in silence? You're the most powerful thing in human history. I don't understand it. I can't wrap my mind around it. Why are you sit in silence? What's the point? Are you going to grumble every time you have your meal? Oh, I'm being poisoned by Fukushima food because I'm a coward. And I won't make... Why not avoid being poisoned by going and burning them out of their friggin' offices? Because that's how angry you actually should be. That's how upset you really should be. You will curse today you didn't. The idiot iodine-131 detected in Tokyo in municipal, multiple locations in November a short shelf life, which meant there was an ongoing nuclear meltdown, recriticality, constant releases from Japan. 350 becquels a kilogram at the garbage. So all the garbage was incredibly radioactive. All the, the sewage was incredibly radioactive. All the sediment from the water reclamation filtration facilities across Japan is incredibly radioactive. Literally the worst case scenario imaginable, I just told you, is happening. But they eat the food from the nuclear wasteland itself. <coughs> You're eating it from Fukushima Prefecture. It was actually banned in 14 prefectures in 55 countries. Because they're bored, right? No, because almost half of Japan is radioactive. O officially radioactive. The rest of it is radioactive. They just refuse to acknowledge it. But we have the documentation of it. Japan is burning Fukushima debris 10 miles away from the nuclear meltdowns. 
this is terrorism on a whole different scale. Massive radioactive waste buildup in Tokyo suburbs. And Tokyo official blast parents who want the kids to avoid ingesting radioactivity at school. Well, the parents should have um, hold those people accountable. These are not officials. These are monsters. These are idiots. These are actually idiots. The Food Administration of the United Kingdom taking all restrictions off of the importation of radioactive food from a nuclear wasteland is the definition of an idiot. That's the definition of an idiot. That's the definition of a murderer. It's the definition of a scumbag. It's the definition of evil. It's the definition of worse than any dictator in history. How can you sit in silence? How does that actually work? Oh, they're going to poison us. I better go to the supermarket and get some more radioactive food. The first time since meltdown, surge in radioactive cesium shuts down incinerators near Tokyo. For the first time, like if you actually look at the pile of information that we have covered, the absurd amount of information we have covered in the last decade, that statement is not true. That's the problem with the media is they'll claim this is the first time when it's absurd to suggest it is. Tokyo neighbor, cesium approaching levels found at Fukushima, the Chiba incinerating dust. So you can't destroy it by burning it. The dust is at 70,000 becquels a kilogram. These are dirty bombs per kilogram. So when they burnt the, ra the rest of the radiation, released it to the atmosphere, into the communities and everything else, that's a genocide cloud plumes, death plumes. You can't destroy radiation by incinerating it. But you know what the officials had said? Was that the radiation doesn't go up the smokestacks. It stays and in the ashes. These people should have had their heads pulled, literally pulled from their bodies by a few thousand people. I can guarantee you the next so-called official won't be saying the same thing. They're doing it to you, but they're doing it through a slow kill and disease and illnesses, heart problems, liver problems, lung problems, respiratory, pituitary, thyroid, adrenaline, Alzheimer's, dementia, autism, diabetes, Down syndrome. Over a million becquels minima soma, a lot of the food being imported into food, um, Japan or United Kingdom is coming from minima soma, by the way. And they're only acknowledging cesium, which is a gamma emitter. For some reason, they're pretending that alphas and neutrons and betas don't even exist. We see this constantly. It's a revolting industry. It's a disgusting and despicable coward. It's an industry full of cowards is the one thing you really start to learn about this industry. And that everybody involved in it is unbelievably cowardly. They're incredible cowards. That's the first thing you're going to notice. 10 million becquels kilogram of cesium detected in minimum soma soil samples. Now again, see, when you hear the word cesium, cesium is the cover story. As if cesium is the only emitters that comes from uh, radiation or nuclear meltdown. It's, it's, it's disgusting. It's in revoltingly disgusting. Japan government did not reveal plutonium-241 241 detections and that the radiation doses were 50 times higher than the total of the three other plutonium isotopes that were mentioned. <clears throat> which is 238, 239, 240. And that 50,000 becquels a kilogram multiplied by 64 to get a square meter of radioactive cesium, which is just a gamma, again, not acknowledging the betas, the alphas, the neutrons, found in soil near Tokyo. In Tokyo. Terrifying the samples were from the side of the street where children are walking. I got to build you a picture Right, this is what I just done. Now we're going to jump into the story after this one. 
Radioactivity of 6.15 million becquels a square meter detected 60 kilometers from the meltdown. 60 kilometers from the meltdown. They're farming within a couple of miles of the ongoing multiple nuclear meltdowns. The nuclear industry has no right to do what it's doing. It's absurd that it's doing it. But for to have the entire planet sitting in silence? You got thousands of public relations firms dedicated to helping the nuclear industry. They got nobody to pick on. Only there's less than five people worldwide that they got as opposition to their genocide. That are, are like publicly speaking about this. I'm being one of them. So let's start into this. Boris, the monster Johnson, munches Fukushima popcorn as the radioactive food rules are scrapped. Really, you, you really got to be some kind of sadistic, twisted, inhuman. You got to literally be inhuman to do what he's doing here. And why is he the arbiter of this anyway? Why aren't your universities or your academics or independent uh, organizations part of this decision? Why is Boris, with a flick of his finger now, able to lift all restrictions? Because they don't want you to think that there's such thing as a university that should be doing it or that there's independent people out there who can measure the radiation or talk about it. There's no debate. Lots of debate on uh, Ukraine. In fact, overwhelming constantly in your, in your government, um, what do they call it down there, the parliament? But the, 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 the government's not gonna have a debate about radioactive food going into your country that is guaranteed to poison everybody, including them, including their children, including their friends, their families, their loved ones, including them themselves. It's hard to imagine that these people are human, that they actually have any of the attributes that we attributed to humans. Why would you import food into a nu from a nuclear wasteland? How does that become a good idea? Fish and vegetables grown near the old, the old Fukushima nuclear plant in Japan can be freely sold in Britain after the despicable, cowardly, disgusting, sadistic Food Standards Agency, the FSA, scrapped the rule on radioactivity levels in products. They watched so many episodes of The Simpsons, they become disenfranchised and desensitized. Fish and vegetables grown near the nuclear wasteland can be freely show, sold in Britain. What that means is no checks and balances whatsoever. You are in so much danger. Every single meal now for the rest of your life you're going to have to curse the day you were born because this is ultimately going to destroy your health and your loved ones and your friends and your families and your communities. A complete destruction is what we're talking about of your communities and your country and your future. Of All your loved ones, your children, future now are written off because you're, sitting in, you're just sitting there doing nothing. You're sitting in silence, wasting your time on stupid shit instead of getting an education to protect yourself. You sh everybody should be ashamed of themselves. It's humiliating that you sat in silence now for 11 years. Where people like myself have been out there fighting for you every day and paying a horrible price for it. How anybody can sit in silence. How do you, Food Safety Agency. Or Food Standard Agency. Which is the same thing, Food Safety Agency. How, how the freak can they call themselves humans? How does that actually work? How can they look in their f family or their friends or their loved ones' eyes 
and say they're a good person or they're even a person or even a human? How can they define themselves as humans by stepping back and letting this happen to every single person in their country? How does that actually work? How, how do you get to be that stupid? How does a job become so important that for a stupid paycheck you're willing to poison everybody in your country? What kind of idiot are you people? What kind of moron are you people? I'm fighting for you, you morons. You need to turn the clock back. You better turn the clock back. You are making the biggest mistake in human history. You are got a one-way ticket in the misery. These are misery. Every meal is a misery machine from here on out. How can you take food from a nuclear wasteland with no restrictions? How can you take it with any restrictions? On radioactive levels in products from a nuclear wasteland. Control on a wider range of product, including baby food. How can you import baby food from a nuclear wasteland, you pathetic sacks of shit? You bizarre, pathetic, useless bags of flesh. How can you be that stupid? It's not stupid, it's actually evil, because you're not stupid. And breakfast cereals. I don't eat cereals, kids eat cereals. Baby food and breakfast cereals were lifted several years ago from a nuclear wasteland. Now try making that up on your own. You gutless, you gutless, spineless worms. You wouldn't go down there and walk around, would you? But you'll import the food and feed it to your friends and your children? You stupid zeros. You despicable zeros. You, you pointless humans. You waste of flesh is what you people are. You murderous scum. Controls on a wider range of products, including baby food and breakfast cereals, were lifted several years ago. You despicable clowns. You revolting cowards. You useless fucking feeders. You horrific scum. You monsters. After consulting on the issue, the agency decided to remove... Consulting! Consulting! Did you go down and walk around? Did you go down and walk around and consult your pieces of shit? Or did you sit in your office and pretend, twiddling your thumbs, okay, that's enough time we just consulted? The sadistic agency decided to remove a threshold that limits Japanese imports that contain more than 100 becquels. Of course, it's impossible to only have 100 becquels a kilogram when the entire country is at 100,000 becquels a kilogram. You people are just, it's absurd that you even exist. That contains more than 100 becquels a kilogram. How can you have only 100 becquels a kilogram grown food in a wasteland? You only clean it up, or not, you can't clean it up, but you picked up millions, tens of millions of bags in just 3% of the land. Not 99% of the land, but 3% of the land. They only acknowledge radio cesium. And let me explain that to you, because you, you need to get educated on this plan. You, you better start getting your acts together. This is not a game. You are about to be poisoned 24-7 with every single meal. How, does, how can you ever look in a mirror again without cutting your own throats?
Okay, here we go. I just try to hopefully. Educate those who are half human. They really want to know. And by the way, the biggest byproduct of radiated fuel rod is curium. Curium isotopes. And you need lead sheeting 20 times thicker for curium isotopes than you do for plutonium isotopes. And plutonium, of course, is named after the devil. So the biggest byproduct of radiated fuel rod is not iodine, it's not cesium, it's curium. And curium killed every animal in every experiment. The West Coast was hit with 220 million atoms per liter. This was a study from Ottawa, Canada, the capital of Canada, in raid after Fukushima. Two hundred and twenty million atoms per liter. It would have been saturated with all the other isotopes. So when you see this one here of iodine, it's not just one iodine. Look at all the other iodine isotopes that are present in these. Right, you, like so. For every iodine one thirty one you find, there's ten times more one thirty two, thirty times more one thirty three, thirty one times more iodine isotopes per one thirty one created. And that the 132, 133 are nine times to ten times more effective at ionizing and radiating your thyroid glands than the 131, which is extremely effective. But it's also, that's applicable to all the animals, all the mammals, all the insects, all the birds, not just humans. The xenon will burn a hole through your lung and sequester in your bones where it starts mutating your stem cells. But look at all the daughters of xenon. It's not just xenon 133, which is what they acknowledge sometimes. And the krypton, you know, Superman. You really think that Superman was created to entertain you? It was created like Spider-Man and the Hulk to indoctrinate you as you grew up and to make you complacent and put you in a position right like it is now where they can import food from a nuclear wasteland. And you're like, oh, it's only krypton. That's okay. I'm invisible. I can't be. I can't be hurt by radiation. I'm special. I'm better than everybody. I'm better than you, Dana. Radiation don't affect me. It only affects weak people like you, Dana. And Mauricium and all their daughters, Neptunium and all their daughters, Cesium and all their daughters, Strontium and all their daughters, and all those acronyms up there and their daughters are going to be in these in these bags too. It's not just going to be the one single isotope. So when Britain said they're checking for gamma, they're not checking. They're not checking for all the other isotopes, and they're not even checking for the cesium-137. They have decided to murder you the most cowardly way imaginable through your food. The FSA, the, the cowardly FSA, the Food Safety Agency, which is not a food safety agency at all. Now is it? It's a coward industry. The Coward Association, the Coward Safety Agency. Our risk assessment shows removing the 100 becquels per kilogram maximum levels of cesium for food imports from Japan to the United Kingdom would result in an eligible increase in dose and any associated risk to the UK consumers. So with a stroke of a pen, poison everybody in the country with every single meal by pretending it doesn't exist. How, how do you get to be that actual evil? How does that actually work? Really, right? How, how does that work? Looks like I got some problem with my gear here tonight, which I've never seen before. There's some flickering going on in my video on your end.
which is no doubt being hacked, we drew to you. Well, when I say it's not rocket science, I mean that I'm providing you with the documentation. You don't have to look it up on yourself. Without Pacific Imports control, the emphasis would fall on food businesses to ensure food is safe. Food businesses to ensure that the food is safe. So the shops will have to check the food, is what they're saying. My God, I don't know what's going on. Let's go to this fruit. Maybe this will, I'll deal with it after. Without Pacific Imports control, the emphasis would fall on food businesses to ensure food is safe. Just bear with me a second, see if I can resolve that on my end. Without Pacific Imports control, the emphasis would fall on food businesses to ensure food is safe under general food law. General food law. It's not the business's job to check the food for radiation. No, it never worked. I apologize if that's uh, a bother for anybody. There's a little flickering going on with my software, apparently. We've never seen that before. You gotta realize the, the industry is insane. This is insanity that we're having this conversation in the first place. Should Britain's population stage a revolution Due to Boris lifting the Fukushima radioactive food ban. And why would somebody vote no? We got a 97% correct vote of yes. Without Pacific import controls, the emphasis would fall on food businesses to ensure the radioactive food is safe. And just as well to go burn that place to the ground. What's the sense of a food safety agency if they're not even going to check the radioactive food? What's the point of them even breathing air? They shouldn't even be allowed to breathe the same air. Or air at all. They, they decided to poison you and murder you and you won't know what's happening because it happens slowly over a couple of years. Stupid. It's the definition of stu it's the definition of just stupid people. It's just stupid. You actually got to be stupid to let your country be poisoned like that. You literally got to be stupid. And how come the Parliament in the United Kingdom is not having a debate? How come there's only two media's reported on it in the entire country? How come there's no opposition in all your great activists in your country? How come your universities sit in silence? You really think that you got a country anymore, United Kingdom? The emphasis would fall on food businesses to ensure that the food is safe. How can you get safe food from a nuclear wasteland? You can't. It can't be done. However, we would not recommend businesses need to take any precautions. The FSA, the Food Safety Agency, says we would not recommend businesses double check. The 
you know, any concept of how insidiously, revoltingly evil that is. Please stick to the topics in the comments section. Boris Johnson and Fumio Kashida, the Japanese latest, greatest, useful puppet prime minister, shared some popcorn from Fukushima, and they don't even have the fortitude to say the word Fukushima to put in the region to mark the lifting of all the remaining restrictions. And the media that put out this story done everything they can to confuse you instead of rallying you, instead of fighting for you. Everybody in the United Kingdom should be ashamed of themselves that their media done that. If you took Boris Johnson down here, he'd pull the eyes out of your head trying to get away from you. No, I'm not going there. He'd be screaming to the top of his lungs. No, please. And so with the shake of a hand, everybody gets poisoned. He's not an idiot, he's evil. He's not naive or gullible, he's evil. The FSA, what they're doing, the Food Safety Administration, you might as well disband them. What's the point of them existing? Why waste your money paying them wages? They're going to go home and say, honey, guess what? We don't want to have to worry about saving up for the kids' colleges. Let's just get them lots of Fukushima food and get rid of them. And bless their little hearts. My job is more important than the health of my loved ones. Downing Street said the Prime Minister was pleased that Great Britain would soon lift the remaining restrictions on food from a nuclear wasteland. I'm actually in shock here tonight, believe it or not. Downing Street said the Prime Minister was pleased that they're going to lift restrictions from a nuclear wasteland. Well, good for him. He's pleased. That doesn't mean he ha he's right. What are you going to do about it? What are you going to sit in silence and let it happen? You're going to sit in silence and pretend it's not happening? The non-Japanese government has enforced a strict regime on food from the nuclear wasteland prefecture since the accident. This is patently absurd to suggest that they did. You wouldn't grow food there if that was true. Why would you grow food in a nuclear wasteland? They've done everything to confuse you, manipulate you, and deceive you, and coerce you. And then they went around you, and then just decided to pay off a couple of people and poison everybody because they're somehow good people. There's no such thing as good people in the nuclear industry. You got to make a stand. You, you have reached the end of the line now. You need to make a stand. T tomorrow defines the rest of your life. Is the rest of your life you're going to be a coward? Or that you eat, that you try. At least, you, at least try. Whether you succeed or not, at least try. Don't be a coward. Don't look in the mirror every day and say, "Yeah, I'm a gutless coward." Because you're not. Japan's leaders been calling on governments to lift all remaining bans from a nuclear wasteland. In 2019, the United EU, the scumbag degenerate EU, relaxed its rules as, per, as part of a wide-ranging trade deal. Trade deal. Yeah, we'll poison everybody in our country if you give us cheaper cars. That's the trade deal, folks. We'll, get, we'll poison you so we can have cheaper cars. We'll poison your children so we can have cheaper 
perfume. We'll poison you so we can have cheaper cheese. We'll poison you so we can have cheaper wine from France. Brussels scrapped the need from radiation inspection certificates. Scrapped it. Brussels did, and a handful of people did. Bought and paid for by monstrous, hideous creatures known as the nuclear industry. Apart from certain fish and mushrooms and wild vegetables, the last thing you want to eat anymore is a mushroom. Let me tell you that. How can you wake up the moral morning and not be humiliated? How's that work? I wonder if you're in Great Britain. How can you call it Great Britain? How's that actually work? Great, great at murdering everybody. Great at poisoning everybody. Great at betraying everybody. If you're the FSA and anything in the nuclear industry or the universities or your media is down there, you're great at being scum. You're great at being stupid, that's for sure. In exchange, the EU was allowed to sell limitless qualities of reduced French champagne, cognac and wine in Japan if you would just poison everybody in your country with radioactive food from a nuclear wasteland. How do, you, how do you just sit in silence and look at yourself? How, how does that even work? I can look at myself in the mirror. It doesn't bother me at all. I'm proud of what I do every day. I won't go down as a coward, that's for sure. I won't go down as somebody who sat in silence, that's for fucking sure. I fought for everybody on the planet. And I fought every day with everything I had. And I never ever took a day off. No matter what happened, I was always went to war every day for everybody on this planet, including the monsters, to try to protect them and their loved ones. Every day! No matter how miserable I was, I gutted up and went to fucking war for everybody on this planet. I wish I could say the same for the rest of the planet. Britain agreed to mirror the food regulations during the BREX transition. Britain didn't agree, a couple of people did. A couple of monsters paid off by the nuclear industry was able to make a decision to poison everybody in the country. Nice legacy, country. I don't know why you call yourself a country. You certainly can't call yourself great anymore. Bringing food in from a nuclear wasteland and sitting in silence. That's the definition of stupid. That's why we want to work more closely together. The Prime Minister added as two great island democracies, where 51% can take away the rights of the other 49%. Which, by the way, democracy doesn't show up anywhere in the Magna Carta, or the Bill of Rights, or the Constitutions in North America, excuse me. You know, I, I put out a video of uh, uh, last week on on Three Mile Island because Netflix has a movie on Three Mile Island. And just bear with me. The video is literally propaganda, no actual information. It was, the video was two hours long and was full of academic studies. 100% slam dunk full of documentation. No nuclear plants emit, do not emit radioactivity. So this crime writer, scumbag degenerate, was a public relation firm disguised as a kid's site. Also, radioactivity does not increase cancer cases or malformations. It's stupid. You don't have a single source for your claim. When that video that I posted last week is just was on Three Mile Island, was 100%. That was top notch and still is. But this, this was panic, right? They, they put that there because 
And Netflix was just coming out with the doc mini documentary series of four videos. But, but I mean, that's their their job is to, to come out and put out propaganda like that. Like I don't understand why I got all this flickering in my video tonight. I apologize for that. Seven people died on a particular shopping street. This was in Koryama City. A single street killed seven people in less than one year. Dropped dead on a shopping street. Now that city should have been evacuated. Okay, and so this is Koryama City. This is another story of Koryama City. This is how bizarre the nuclear industry actually is. Elementary school in Japan using water bottles to shield the student from radiation. Now that's the same spot where seven people dropped dead, but they wouldn't evacuate the victims and the children. And the teachers had to take bottles, put them in crates, and stack them around the classrooms to protect the children in the classrooms. An elementary school in Koryama City, which is located in Fukushima Prefecture, some 34 miles west of Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant. Now, th these bags are picked up 100 miles away, by the way, from the power plant, but 34 miles away from the power plant, seven people dropped dead on a single shopping street in less than one year, and that the school's got to use bottles of water to shield the children from the radiation. This is what it looks like around Koryama with millions of one-ton bags around that place. It's using water bottles to shield the radiation from the courtyard and other areas around the school. The bottles are filled with water and placed in inside the square boxes that are stacked around the classroom. So the children get less of a dose. This is how sadistic the nuclear industry actually is. how absurd the nuclear industry actually is, how insane the actual industry is. Because that's insanity. When you won't evacuate the children from a nuclear wasteland, that's the definition of insanity. The bottles are filled with water and placed inside the square boxes which are stacked around the classrooms. For, like... In order to get to the classroom, you've got to drive past millions of one-ton bags of radiation. According to school, it seems to have reduced radiation levels inside by one-third. Rather than evacuate the children... Hi, everybody. How's the poll going tonight? we got 43 votes. 95% says that Britain should stage a revolution, the population due to the Food Safety Agencies and Boris Johnson lifting Fukushima radioactive food ban. You know, like in the preamble of the show, I had no flickering whatsoever going on. All the way up until I went live and then, then it happened. And I always notice whenever I talk about Britain, something happens to my software, to my equipment, and to my uh, video, every single time. Because the nu nuclear industry has now destroyed Britain anyway during Sellafield and Windscale, right? Residents of Koryama City are concerned about the high amount of radioactive material found around their town. Koryama City. So United Nations, which is 195 militaries, by the way, hundred and ninety five militaries that shouldn't exist. They don't have sovereignty over any country. The average disposition of cesium, just gamma, and just cesium at that, 
not alphas or neutrons or betas, per square meter, the size of your dinner table. The second row in Koryama City, 162,000. The 341,000 is the population. The 162,000 is the Beckwells per square meter in the community. This is absolute madness. Everywhere you look in Japan, you're surrounded by millions of one-ton bags. Bringing in food from a nuclear wasteland, despite the public relations firms claiming that it's harmless and innocuous and benign, that's simply not true. Why would you pick up all those bags if it was harmless? Seven people dying on a street is not harmless. It's unprecedented. The nuclear option, Boris Johnson tucks in the popcorn with the Japanese prime minister as a ban is lifted on radioactive fish and vegetables from near, near the disaster nuclear plant. What a strange way to frame it, eh? from near disaster nuclear plant, disaster nuclear plant. Vegetables grown near a nuclear meltdown. Now have free reign to come in to United Kingdom, poison the population. Boris Johnson talks into popcorn as the ban is lifted on radioactive Food from a nuclear wasteland, from near a nuclear meltdown, disaster nuclear plant, disaster nuclear plant. Not nuclear meltdown, but disaster nuclear plant. It's, it's unbelievable. Looks like I might have to do the whole show again tomorrow night because I got flickering in this one, and that only, all that's going to do is piss me off. I might do this every night for the next two weeks because of that. Since the 2011 disaster, the Food Safety Agency, which no longer obviously exists, had restricted 23 farm products. Not all the farm products, but just 23. Why would you only, re why would you only res uh, restrict a few? Why wouldn't you restrict everything? Because, you know, it's a nuclear wasteland. So why would you only, you really think some food is not going to suck up the radiation? Is there anybody on the planet that's actually that stupid? Is there really anybody on the planet that's insidiously stupid? That incredibly dumb that they think that 23, restricting 23 farm products instead of all farm products? The food... Safety agency is the furthest thing from a safety agency. It's the complete opposite of what you would expect from a safety agency. It's the complete backwards of a food safety agency. Shared popcorn. That should infuriate everybody on this planet, not just United Kingdom. That they have so much contempt that they celebrated it by eating popcorn. To mark the end of restriction of food from an ongoing multiple nuclear meltdown area that they didn't even bother acknowledging happened in the articles. The humiliation of somebody who called themselves a journalist is absurd. Food from near the old. From why would you say old? How can you do something like that? How can, how can you be that friggin' evil? Right? How, how does that actually work?
Really, how, how does that work? Boris Johnson munches Fukushima popcorn as radioactive food rules are scrapped. That's got to be one of the most despicable, disgusting headlines imaginable. And look at the name for Consumers Affairs editor at the Telegraph. The media is completely insane. This is completely insane. It's heartbreaking. It's terrifying. They're eating popcorn, shipping food in from a nuclear wasteland. Yay, let's celebrate with some popcorn. So they have so much contempt for you and their friends and their families and the children that they've done that that way. That's called contempt, see? To do it like this. And hatred, they must really hate you to do it that way. Near the old, the old nuclear plant. Why frame that narrative that way? The degenerate, monstrous food safety agency, standard agency, Stop Japan's imports containing more than 100 becquels. First off, a single atom sequesters in your muscles, your organs, or your bones will make you sick. To suggest there's only 100 becquels a kilogram in the food grown around this area is a crime on its own. These people here, they should get a permanent pension for being exposed to radiation like that. Every facet of the story tells you one thing and one thing only. Was the most severe nuclear accident in the world since the Chernobyl. And every time you hear that narrative framed that way, remember there's a thousand articles a year will use those exact words. It's hatred on a whole different scale. It's contempt on a whole different scale. It's genocide on a whole different scale. This is evilness on a whole different scale. And contempt, this is 100% unequivocal contempt. That's what you're seeing there, that, that is contempt. The only reason that they're, they're doing that is their contempt for you. That, that's contempt. I had to grab him by that cheap friggin' green tie, pull him up really close to my face and headbutt him till his nose comes out the back of his head. Because that's a monster. That's the definition of a monster, what he's doing, and what the nuclear industry is doing to your country is a monster. This is monstrous. This is evil, and you're sitting in silence where evilness reigns is not a solution. The emphasis would fall on food businesses to ensure the food was safe. Oh, they also confirmed a new defense agreement would allow their military forces, their, their misery forces, misery machine known as a military, to carry out training. And all you got to do is poison everybody back home. Instead of your soldiers fighting for you, your soldiers are murdering you now. The EU was allowed to sell French champagne Cognac and wine would reduce taxes in Japan if they poisoned everybody in their country. Which is what Taiwan, by the way, just done, right? If they import food from the nuclear wasteland, then they can join the Trans-Pacific Partnership. I apologize for any flickering tonight. We've never seen that before. 
There was nothing present before I went live. It only happened once I went live. And because we're talking about such a sensitive subject, and with a poll that's a very sensitive subject, I have no doubt that the cowards in the United Kingdom are doing that to me tonight. Why are you such cowards, I wonder? Stupid nobodies. Should Britain population stage a revolution due to Boris lifting the Fukushima radioactive food ban? We got 92 views total, 46 thumbs up total, and 46 votes. This is 100% censorship. 91 people pop by, 38 is watching it. The most important subject in human history. Google's just lobbyists. The nuclear industry has been censoring the living daylights out of any opposition. Getting a paycheck to censor people. Literally, and in order to poison everybody, including their friends and their families. Imagine how stupid those people actually are. Which is, I'd rather have them censor me because when they're home, they're only raping their puppies and their children anyway. At least I went to war every day. At least somebody on the fucking planet stood up. Because if I, if I didn't do this tonight, guess what? Not a fucking person on the entire planet would have come out and fight for you and your loved ones. Not one person! Not a single person. I'm going to end it there because if I don't, I'm just going to explode. I'm going to come back and do it again tomorrow night because he censored me tonight. We're going to end the poll on 47, which is great. Should Britain population stage a genocide due to Boris lifting the Fukushima radioactive food ban? Yes, unequivocally. Should everybody on the planet be ashamed of themselves? that the industry is doing this to their loved ones and their friends and their families and all of humanity? Is this acceptable under any scenario? Do you really need to grow food in a nuclear fucking wasteland? Do you really need to grow food in a nuclear wasteland? Do you really need to do that? No. Do you really need to poison everybody worldwide? No. You know, you got any idea how much trouble we're in? I'll, I'll give you a rough idea. Since Fukushima nuclear meltdown, this is radioactive fallout model from France based on 16 lousy days of radioactive fallout. That's just 16 days when it stops, covers the entire planet in radioactive fallout. We responded early on after the meltdowns and done research expeditions from British Columbia, Canada, all the way to Alaska. The models to the right repeated year after year after year. This is, I do this each year, by the way, and we go out and we do research expeditions. Year after year after year, desperate to try to get this planet to come to its senses. And what we discovered was all the species were exterminated in the Pacific coastline, all the way to Alaska, so that had to be applicable to Alaska. The species to your left, you'll never take that picture again, they disappeared because of radiation from Japan. 
The, in, the industry is so insidiously evil that uh, one of the years that I came ashore after doing this year after year, they actually arrested me and gave me gag orders so I couldn't point out who the people were that were covering up uh, this documentation and that were lying to you and deceiving you. They actually gave me six gag orders to silence me for three and a half years. Did I give up and go away? Of course not. Did I slow down? Of course not. Did I speak out even stronger? Of course I did. Was I scared? Of course I was. Was I under siege that whole time? Yes. Did I ever lose a step? No. Why? Because your future, your children's future, depend on somebody, anybody, telling the truth. That's all it depends on. All of you are capable of telling the truth. All of this stuff, by the way, is available at my site, thenuclearproctologist.org. And even now, doing the research expeditions on the East Coast, all the species are gone. This is, this is not a game. You, you are in so much trouble. I'm trying to do the best I can, but you got to understand the frustration that I'm going through. The heartaches that I go through constantly. Uh, I never stop. I never stop trying. I'll show you some pictures from today. So today. Uh, you notice the bike is sitting on a bike ramp. I bought that today. And it turns out i got to make a whole lot of modifications to it to make it work. Because it's too high. I'll explain that to you in a second. So I, I assembled that today. Uh, those air tools, by the way, are amazing. But that ramp is too short. That's the ramp there. It's too short to get up in the back of my uh, vehicle. And it's too high up for me to be able to manage it. And so what I got to do is I got to drop the weight. I got to drop, I got to get a drop hitch that drops it down to six or eight more inches. And I got to modify the ramp. I got to make a longer ramp that extends, say, back and double the length of that ramp and drop this one down in order to make it work. Because trying to get it up on the big trailer is too dangerous. It's very dangerous. So we got the big trailer. It is. I got a couple of short clips. That's not the one I was thinking about, maybe. So we got the trailer hitch mount for the bike instead of trying to fit it on the trailer because it almost killed me the other day. <laughs> the big trailer. Or the other week when I tried it and putting it up on the trailer by myself. Yeah, that scary. Didn't work. And so I'm hoping this is the solution. It's the solution, but I need to make modifications. That's the solution right there anyway. We'll see. I gotta watch what I'm doing with that torque wrench because uh, that'll squeeze the shit out of that metal. Now the reason we're doing it this way is because It's cheaper than towing my big trailer, right? The big trailer is 1,500 pounds, and the price of gas is over $8 a gallon. And so the idea was I can load the ramp on this and bring it um, a long ways away, get on the trail and get it and do species counts. And the problem is, though, that, and because with the bike, you can put 200,000 kilometers on the bike but you can't put 200,000 kilometers. You'd be lucky to get 10,000 kilometers on the quad. So it's best to have the quad for uh, camping expeditions where you're gonna go for two or three weeks. This one is for scouting, but also for 
going into different sections and going for two or three days at a time because I can pack camping gear in the back of the truck, right? And camp out to save money because we can't afford to fund this operation. That weighs 440 pounds. So I got to buy a hundred dollar or get one made a drop hitch to lower that down about five or six inches. And then I got to make a new ramp or extend the ramp. And I got to modify the current ramp a little tiny bit. I can probably do that piece. I need to put something level there because it's too hard to push it over the little bumps, right? So I can probably use plywood or go and get a sheet of metal and uh, have it welded in there, which is probably the, the better option. And then extend or get a new ramp that won't... Uh, doesn't have uh, or has a longer uh, like the same length as the beak ramp and then I can load it myself you gotta realize I'm not even I shouldn't be doing any of this I'm not even healthy for goodness sakes but we we got to get it done right it's got to be the research got to be done otherwise you can't say definitively what's happening and so we blew that money on that in desperation to come up with a solution. Desperation to come up with a solution. And now I gotta, we got to raise more money to finish it out, which is whatever. We'll get it done eventually, right? Uh, but we got to do the research. I actually seen a butterfly today. That was amazing. It's incredible. Okay, so I apologize for the flickering. I've never seen that before. We've been doing this for a decade. I've never seen that happen before. But something strange always happens when I talk about Great Britain for some reason. They're, it's a revolting bunch in the universities and in the nuclear industry down there and the governments. They're, they're despicable. It's despicable what they got done to your people in Great Britain. And I am doing what I can. I sure wish that Great Britain would make a stand. You've got to make a stand. You can't just sit in silence. That's not a solution. I'll keep fighting for you. I just hope that you fight for yourselves because we got a lot. We got a lot of countries we got to fight for. E-bikes e can't travel 250 miles one way and 250 miles the other way in one day. The reason you got a petrol bike is because we can carry it a long way, right? And I'm well familiar with e-bikes, by the way. They're, they're awesome, but they're not applicable for what I'm trying to do. It'd be good to have one. There are some nice ones out there that can go 50 kilometers or 60 kilometers. But I, I, I will use the bike to shoot across the province 900 kilometers and come back. That's 1,800 kilometers. If I put that on the quad, I can only do that five or six times. And then my quad is basically useless after that. I'm concerned about my physical condition too, Daryl. I don't have the, the money to hire people like I should have. I don't have the support. I don't raise enough money to even get the basics at the one time. I have to do it in increments. Everything, a lot of the, a lot of the research expeditions could have took me two years to put it together before I can get out and do the research expeditions that were, sh and then showed that we have lost almost all the species. And yet no foundations have stepped up. This is all done through little donations. And it's, it's absolute torture because this is not a game. This is an emergency. It's, and it's heartbreaking that no foundations on the planet 
they're, they're all pro-nuclear. I've ever funded this operation. This has always been my pension and whatever I can raise each month to keep the operation going. For over a decade, I haven't had an extra nickel for anything. I don't care. I'm, I want to get the job done. So everything is focused on the research and telling the story and these presentations. I'm going to do a quick shout out now because I lasted longer than I was expecting. I can't do nothing about the flickering. I've never seen that before. I'll, I'll deal with it. I'll deal with it tomorrow. Dana and Sana, thank you again. Darlene, Tinker, Albert, Peacewear. And anybody wants to donate, the bottom of my description, you'll see two links you can donate to me. That's the only two links you can use to donate to me. That's the only two don't ways you can donate. I don't have Facebook or anything like that. That's the only two ways. They're both at the bottom of the description. One is to a link at my site under the first picture. you see a donate button. And the other one is to my PayPal. There's also a merchandise uh, you can buy to help contribute it that way. And links below to that too. Obsolete Optics, Stephen Young. Hope you're feeling better, Stephen. Trip Boys, hi Trip Boys, Albert, Tinker, Conrad, Jack Tripper. Um, good night, everybody. God bless everybody. Hope for everybody. Hope you all have a great night, great day tomorrow. Kevin Blanche. Kevin's not feeling well tonight. John Curtis, Richard, Ken Weberg, uh, James Lucid. Hi, James. Just scooting down through the comments section. Say goodnight to everybody. Warren. God bless all of you folks. Thank goodness you folks exist. At least, you know, there's a small group of us that go to war every day. Katja. I know Colette is out there. Hi, Colette. It's a terrible subject, and I, I get it. It's a difficult subject. SCH. And I can't change that. I, 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 you know, I don't like it any more than anybody else do. Just, I got to put all this stuff together each day. It's torture. Patrick. I got the worst job on the planet, period. But I also got the best job on the planet, period. The easiest job is being honest. That's the easy part of the job. But trying to educate the population means I have to work triple time all the time. We're almost down to the most recent comments. Ryan Underwood. Hi, Ryan. Thank you. You're welcome. Port Angeles, where are we going to here? Ken, John. No, radioactive food is not better than no food. Radio radioactive, there's no such thing as no food. We, we have the ability to create all the food we want if we can just slow down the evil people on our planet for a few minutes.
Have I got everybody? Looks like I got everybody. Just double checking before I call it a night. It's a lot of stress doing these shows for me. Genocide does that to me, unfortunately. We got 50 thumbs up. Uh, I'm going to be censored, period. So please share the video. Don't worry about the views. Just share the video. Don't don't worry about the thumbs up. Put me and don't worry about subscribing. Put me in your bookmarks, for God's sakes, because they're going to unsubscribe you in the near future. Andrew B, you're welcome. Looks like I got everybody. Let's call it a night. Let's call it a night that never ends because I got a lot of work to do yet. We'll see everybody tomorrow night for the pounding ground to the nuclear scumbag industry. I'll figure out why the flickering is happening. It wasn't doing it until I went live which suggests it's an external source that's doing it to me, right? Scumbags. God bless everybody. Hugs for everybody. We'll see everybody tomorrow night. Have a great night. Great day tomorrow. We'll see everybody on the other side. Take care, folks.